should read this book next, Moby. It's called Superbot and the Art Thief. I love this book because the plot is really exciting. The plot is all the events that happen in a story. Events in a story occur in a certain order. What is sequence? Sequence is the order in which things happen or are described. Uh-oh. Somebody is up to no good. To hatch her latest plan, the evil Dr. M breaks into the art museum. Then, she steals the most famous painting in the world. Quick! Turn on the signal! Meanwhile, a mild-mannered robot named Mobius D. Bot quietly eats his lunch. When he sees the signal, he springs into action. This looks like a job for... Superbot! Superbot chases the evil Dr. M through the city. Next, he chases her through the park. After that, he chases her through the zoo. The evil Dr. M gets away, but Superbot doesn't give up easily. The evil Dr. M passes by a store. She just can't resist going inside. But it's a trap. Superbot saves the day. Finally, the painting is back in its rightful place. Transitions can tell you about the sequence of events. What are transitions? A transition is a word that connects ideas together. First, second, third, then, next, and finally are all transitions that describe the order of events. Before, after, later, while, and meanwhile are also transitions that tell about time. Sometimes transitions are called signal words because they're a signal for you to pay attention. As you read, look for transitions that tell you about the sequence. The transitions in this recipe tell you what to do in a certain order. First, cut the carrots. Second, cut the onions. Third, cut the celery. Before you fry them, add salt and pepper. That means the fourth step is to add salt and pepper. After that, you fry the vegetables. How can you take notes on the sequence of events? It's helpful to take notes on the sequence in a graphic organizer. I'm going to use these notes later to help me write a book report. In nonfiction writing, there might be dates and times that tell you when important events happened. You can make a timeline to help keep track of them. Informational writing might explain something or teach how to do something. You can make a flow chart to help you keep track of all the steps. It's a chart that shows what to do first, second, third, and so on. Sometimes the order of events isn't so clear. How can you make inferences about the sequence of events? When you infer, you use what you know or see to come up with an idea. As you read, use clues to make inferences about the sequence. After the evil Dr. M escaped, Superbot came up with a plan. Later, the evil Dr. M fell into his trap. I think Superbot's trap probably took a while to set up. So, I can infer that the second part of the story happens later. When I read, I picture what happens in my mind. 
It helps me understand and think about what I'm reading. Hmm, I wonder what will happen in the next book. What do you think, Moby? Whoa! Moby?